Why is now the winter of 2022 one of the best times for sellers to sell? That's what I'm tackling in today's video. everybody welcome back to my channel my name is caitlin martin and i am a local nashville real estate agent and i specialize in helping savvy sellers who want to sell right and sell smart as well as helping out-of-staters looking to relocate to the middle tennessee area if this is your first time stopping by my channel thank you so much please feel free to click subscribe down below so that you are notified anytime i release new video content so in today's video i'm going to be talking about why now in the winter of 2022 is one of the best times for sellers to sell if you have been thinking about selling in the Franklin Tennessee area so let's go ahead and dive on in as to why now is a great time so here's the thing right now we continue to be in a strong sellers market yes it is the winter and that's traditionally a little bit slower um, and everyone knows the stereotypical spring selling season. And so it is really easy for people to think, okay, well, I'll just wait till the spring, but there's a lot of really good reasons as to why you shouldn't do that. You should try to get ahead um, and how that's a benefit to you as a seller versus waiting for that spring selling season. So let's, let's dive into it a little bit more. One of the reasons why it is a great time to sell right now is because there is gonna be less other housing competition coming up against your house, competing for the buyers who are out shopping. We continue to see a really strong buyer demand. So yes, there are still buyers out there, serious looking, even in this really disgusting cold weather that we've been having lately. Um, so there is strong buyer presence out there. The great thing about it though, is we traditionally, if you go back and look at the amount of inventory that we've had between January and February for the last three to four years, traditionally January has a little bit more than February, February dips. And then of course, everyone starts to start listing in March. But here's the thing, if you're thinking about selling now is a great time because like I said, if you wait until the spring, your house is gonna start competing with other houses in your neighborhood, other houses that would be comparable to your neighborhood, you're gonna start competing with them. Um, if you go on the market at about the same time they do versus actually getting ahead and going up first, then that means that the number of buyers who are out there are going to be honing in on your property versus comparing you to other homes that have now come on the market. And so here's the thing, depending on the condition of your home, the updates, um, just the, you know, the state of your property, um, having other competition can either be beneficial or it could help sell your neighbor's house. So right now, the buyers that are out, they're really strong buyers and several of them have been looking for months and they are still at it and they are still writing competitive offers. And as a seller in this market, you are gonna be in the driver's seat. So what does that mean? That means that you are gonna be getting competitive pricing on your home. Unless your home is one of those really, you know, more rare properties that, maybe it looks like it's from the 50s or 60s or 70s uh you know that that basically needs a big old overhaul to appeal to like the hgtv side of a buyer's brain um as long as your home is not one of those that basically needs a lot of help there's going to be great buyer activity on your home which is awesome so you're going to be getting these more competitive offers so you're going to be getting these great prices like i said you know unless your house is one of those rare ones where people can um, undercut the sales price most of the time in this market you are going to be getting at least ask if not more um, and more uh and it's more likely that you're going to get more than one offer now this can be dependent upon neighborhood again condition of home the marketing there's a lot that goes into it however 
Um, you know, if we're talking in terms of like the general things that we are seeing in our market, you're going to be getting multiple offers. And with that, when buyers know there's multiple offers on the table, they get more competitive with their pricing. They reduce the number of contingencies. They, they want to tailor their offer as best to your wants as a seller as possible. Do you have a preferred close date? Great. They're probably going to want to try to match it as best as possible. Do you need to stay in the home? for say two weeks or 30 days or something in order to move all of your belongings out into your new place, great. They're most likely going to give you that. And here's what we are seeing a lot of times is that when buyers really do wanna be competitive, they are coming to the table offering that temporary occupancy with no rent during that time, which as a seller, that is a great benefit to you. They are, buyers are also waiving certain contingencies. Now, not that they're gonna always waive the home contingency, maybe they will, maybe they won't, but if they don't waive the home contingency, they're still saying things like they won't ask for any repairs. So really as a seller, if if you are not somebody that wants to deal with a whole lot of frills and fuss and, and a lot of back and forth in terms of like say negotiating and, and whatnot, this is a great opportunity for you to say, here are my terms, this is what I'm looking for, and then let your agent go to work getting you what it is that you are ultimately seeking. Because like I said, the spring selling season is coming and it is a very common, uh, commonly held belief that you should, if you wanna sell, sell in the spring because you'll get the best price. And again, you, you can roll the dice with it. And again, depending on your home, it may be a great thing for you and it could it could elevate the price of your home even more than now. However, there is a really great opportunity now, like I said, for you to be the standout house that draws all of the buyer's attention now. And then one other reason why it's a great idea to list sooner rather than later, because interest rates are ticking up, that means that a buyer's buying power is going down. So. It depends on whether your home's gonna then fall into the cusp of where they can um, afford to purchase. So going on now before interest rates continue to tick up allows you to have a little bit of a bigger buyer pool because of what they can afford. Because like I said, as interest rates go up, the amount of house that they can afford, their buying power does go down. So these are just some things to think about. If you have been thinking about selling in the Franklin, Tennessee area, you can click below to grab my seller success guide. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, my name is Caitlin Martin. I'll see you next time.